You guys, I'm so excited to be here. I wore my best cardigan for you. You're welcome. I was, uh, I was a little bit late getting here though because I was teaching a yoga class. That lady's like, that did not happen. <laughs> You're right, I did not teach a yoga class. I went to one, obviously. <laughs> it was pretty awesome though because the yoga teacher, she let me do the modified version of everything. So like the class would do downward dog and she would let me eat raviolis. <laughs> They would do a child's pose, then they take a nap in the corner. I love yoga, namaste. I uh, am a big fan of the restaurant Hooters, uh, obviously, because why would you not be? It's a pretty great place. Uh, the waitresses there are pretty awesome because they, uh, they get a little skeptical about people who come in there and ask uh, to buy one of their outfits, and they get especially suspicious when that person is me. <laughs> I went into a Hooters and I went up to the waitress and I was like, hey, I'd like to buy one of your shirts. And she's like, um, what size? I was like, duh, small. She's like, well, they run kind of small. I'm like, Psh, even better, let's do this. It's my goal in life to buy the entire Hooters outfit and just go into a Hooters and start waiting on tables. You know, I just like get on those shorts. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Put them on, my gut's hanging out. These like four dudes are sitting there watching football and I come in there, they're like, what the <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't order that. <laughs> like, you don't want some chicken wings? <laughs> I wanna get real for a second, guys. Uh, have you ever been compared to the entire Honey Boo Boo family? <laughs> No, just me, cool, cool, cool. Oh my God, that show came out and everybody started tweeting me. Oh my God, you look just like Honey Boo Boo. You got impersonate Honey Boo Boo. I'm like, that was not a compliment, thank you. <laughs> what was even worse is when I realized that all I had to do in order to impersonate Honey Boo Boo's mom, this is all I had to do. <laughs> I'm not proud, I'm not proud. <laughs> I know it's hard to tell by the way I'm dressed right now, but I am a lesbian. What, that's crazy, you're so feminine. <laughs> I know. That's true. Is anybody here in the closet, anybody? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, I'm not judging, I was a bit of a late bloomer. I didn't come out until I was 25, and I remember when I was in college, my mom would be like, I don't understand why you get so upset when your friend Michelle goes out on dates with guys. And I was like, because she's my best! Friend! <laughs> you don't get it. Apparently I did not get it. I had no idea, I dressed just like this too. When I finally decided to come out, it's really scary, especially telling your dad, cause like your dad's your dad, you know, he's the one who teaches you how to play softball. <laughs> Which is like the gayest sport there is. In fact, some people call it a gateway sport. <laughs> it's true, softball, then lesbian. <laughs> There's some straight girls here right now who are like. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I played softball in high school. I was third base and I was really good. What does this mean? It means you're gay. <laughs> We're coming for you, grab the Subaru, let's go! <laughs> Put on your Tevas, this is gonna be a long journey. So when I told my dad, I took him to this hometown festival in the South to tell him, you know, safety in numbers. And uh, <laughs> you never know. And we're sitting there and I'm like so nervous I can barely talk. I'm like, Dad, I'm here. I just want to him again. At this point he's really nervous because he thinks I'm special. <laughs> so I'm like, Dad, I'm gay. And he cocks his head back. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> and then he's like, well, well, well. <laughs> you uh, want to go to Old Navy and get your new outfit? <laughs> What does Old Navy have to do with me being a lesbian? He's like, I don't know, they sell vest shit. <laughs> That's my time, you guys. Thank you so much. Great.